Hello and welcome to this video on theory of logarithm. We have just finished our arithmetic progression, geometric progression and harmonic progression. So we will now move on to logarithm. It is a very simple topic. So there won't be very difficult questions on this. First we got to grasp the theory and the theory is pretty simple. The definition of logarithm is that a number x is called the logarithm of a number y to the base b if b to the power x is equal to y where b is greater than 0, b is not equal to 1, uh, there is a typo here, b is not equal to 1 and y is greater than 0. So mathematically it can be represented by the equation log of y with base b is equal to x or b to the power x is equal to y. There should be a space here. Now the conditions which we have stated that is b is greater than 0, b not equal to 1 and y greater than 0 are necessary for the definition of logarithm. Now suppose b is equal to 1 then what happens is if the logarithm is defined then log of y with base 1 is equal to x. Now if this is equal to x then 1 to the power x is equal to y that is 1 is equal to y. Now suppose log of 2 with base 1 is defined then 1 becomes equal to 2. So you see that in certain cases it will lead to meaningless results or rather in most of the cases it will lead to meaningless results. So we now observe that b is not equal to 1 so base is not equal to 1. Similarly if y is less than 0 then b to the power x is equal to y which is meaningless because left hand side is positive and right hand side is negative. Now if we let b is equal to 0 then 0 to the power x is equal to n. So if log of 2 with base 0 is defined that will mean 0 is equal to 2 which is again meaningless or our assumption to be false. Now fifth point is no number can have two different logarithms to a given base. Now assume that a number n has two different logarithms x and y so we have log of n with base b is equal to x and log of n with base b is equal to y. So n is equal to b to the power x and n is equal to b to the power y. That means b to the power x is equal to b to the power y or x is equal to y. So the numbers having same logarithm with the given base will be equal. Point number six says that when the number or base is negative, the value of logarithm comes out to be complex number with non-zero imaginary part. So we let log of minus 5 with base e is equal to x. So log of 5 dot e to the power i pi with base e because minus 1 is e to the power i pi. We know that is the Euler's formula that e to the power i pi plus 1 is equal to 0. So instead of the negative sign we have written e to the power i pi is equal to x. So x becomes log of 5 with base e plus i pi. How we arrived at this result we will it will be clear soon. So some important results which we will discuss here that log of 1 with base b is equal to 0. So proof is given here b to the power x becomes 1 if log of 1 with base b is x then b to the power x is equal to 1 so x is equal to 0. Now log of base log of b with base b is equal to 1. In this case we let it to be x as always. So b to the power x is equal to b that implies x is equal to 1. And that is how we have here log of e with base e will be equal to i pi. So the plus sign we will discuss so now b to the power log of n with base b is equal to n. So in this case we let log of n with base b to the power is equal to x. So b to the power x is equal to n. That means b to the power log of n with base b is equal to n. Now we discuss some important formulas. Log of x into y with base b is equal to log of x with base b plus log of y with base b where x and y are greater than 0. So in this case we let log of x with base b is equal to m. So b to the power m is equal to x and we let log of 
y with base b is equal to n so b to the power n is equal to y now x dot y is equal to b to the power m dot b to the power n is equal to b to the power m plus n and we let it to be b to the power o this is not 0 o and so we get m plus n is equal to o and that's why we can say that log of x dot y with base b is equal to log of x base b plus log of y with base b that is why log of 5 dot e to the power i pi is equal to log of 5 plus log of e to the power i pi so log of 5 is here and log of e to the power i pi with base e is equal to i pi so we use the formula from here now a corollary can be given here as log of b with any number of numbers will be equal to log of sum of those numbers with the same base now if x is less than 0 and y is less than 0 then the result is replaced with modulus of x and modulus of y similarly we can prove that log of x by y with base b is equal to log of x with base b minus log of y with base b where x and y are greater than 0. So we do the similar operation here instead of having plus sign between m and n we get m minus n is equal to o following like number one formula and similarly for less than zero values of x and y we get modulus. Third important formula is that log of n to the power k with base b is equal to k log of n with base b. So we let log of n with base b is equal to x so b to the power x is equal to n. Now log of n with base b uh, log of n to the power k with base b is equal to y. That means b to the power y is equal to n to the power k. That is b to the power y is equal to b to the power x to the power k. That is b to the power kx. So y is equal to kx and we are at the result. Fourth formula is that log of a with base b is equal to log of a with base c and log of c with base b. So in this case we observe that it is change of base that's it and nothing more so we assume that log of a with base b is equal to x so b to the power x is equal to a now we let log of a with base c is equal to y so c to the power y is equal to a and we let log of c with base b is equal to z so b to the power z is equal to c so we observe that b to the power x is equal to a which is equal to c to the power y which will be equal to b to the power yz so x is equal to yz because b is not equal to 1 so alternatively we can write that log of a with base b is equal to log of c with base c or log of uh, divided by log of b by base c the fifth important formula is that log of n with base b to the power k is equal to 1 by k log of n with base b where b is greater than 0 so you can see that from our previous point that log of n with base b to the power k is equal to log of n by log of b to the power k which will be equal to log of n by k log b that is equal to 1 by k log of n with base b. Similarly a sixth uh, important formula can be proven that log of a with base b is equal to 1 by log of b with base a. In this case we let log of a with base b as x so b to the power x is equal to a. So log of b with base a is equal to y. So a to the power y is equal to b. So a is equal to b to the power y from here. And then we substitute the value of b from here. Or uh, yeah, b from here. So this becomes a to the power xy. Which is equal to xy is equal to 1. So log of a with base b is equal to 1 by log of b with base a. Now there are two things when we take log of a number most of the time you will get an integral part and a fractional part unless the number whose logarithm is taken is certain power of base so unless that condition is satisfied, satisfied the number will have as logarithm an integral part and a fractional part. The integral part is called characteristics and fractional part is called mantissa. So suppose log x is equal to 4.7 then 4 is the characteristic then 0.7 is the mantissa and if characteristics is less than 0 then we also write 
it with the bar above it instead of a negative sign so minus 5.3 can be written as bar over 5.3 now there are two important bases of logarithm one is 10 and another is a with base 10 it is commonly it is known as common logarithm and we base with base a it is known as natural or Napierian logarithm log of 10x is also commonly written as lgx and log of x with base e is also written as ln x now we also discuss inequality of algorithms so if base is greater than 1 and log of x1 with base a and log of x2 with base b implies that x1 is greater than x2 and in case of b less than 1 the equality sign will reverse the expansion of logarithm series is given as log of 1 plus x is equal to x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x to the power 4 by 4 and this should not be r this should be 4 plus x to the power 5 by 5 and so on now if we plot logarithm function then you can see that i have plotted two functions the top one is uh, log of with base 2 and the green one is green one is with base 10 so where they meet x axis this is x is equal to 1 with any base all logarithm functions will cross this point that is when the number is 1 the logarithm will be 0 and you see that as the value of x increases the rate of increment of log x is decreases actually if when you will read calculus you will find that differential of log x is 1 by x so the tangent of uh, at any point in this curve will be equal to 1 by x so at infinity it will be a flat line that is 1 by x will be 0 so as x approaches infinity it becomes parallel to x axis with this uh, also i would like to discuss the negative part so when an x becomes less than 1 it becomes negative and it rapidly approaches uh, minus infinity in this case as you can see if the value is small that is b is small then it will rapidly approach uh, negative infinity in case of logarithm and as we have also studied if it is a negative line then it won't be a real plane this plane is a real plane but if it is negative then it will be a complex plane because the number is complex number so with this we come to the end of discussion on logarithm theory and from next video onwards we will solve problems on logarithm know that since logarithm is very simple function the problems are not very hard on this because there is not a lot of concept involved but still we will solve good number of problems on logarithm just to get the practice of how it behaves and how we manipulate formulas around logarithm so stay tuned for the next video and if you find this video useful then please subscribe and to the channel and share the video so that it can reach many more students and they can also get benefit from you and if you have a question or a comment or a suggestion please make use of the comment box and thanks a lot for watching enjoy